Hey guys, it is about to get scared. Let's go ahead back. Star Wars Battlefront 2. I today, or tonight, I guess you'd say, we'll be doing Galactic Conquest. Uh, I've been playing, I've played this game on every console that's available, available PC, which is what I'm doing now. Uh, I played on the PS2, and I also played on the Xbox. Question I prefer the PC. Uh, I don't really know why I just do. And also, I'm not sure just to choose. I finished the Republic earlier. I think I'm going to do Birth of the Rebellion. Yeah, I've been playing this game about as long as I can remember. Let's see here. I'm going to see one of the units. And I'm going to go ahead and recruit the smuggler. So I can get the shotgun, which is which is pretty much my favorite weapon. In turn, yeah. Okay, this is a pretty standard space battle, which I love the space combat. Uh, let's see, I'm not sure what my highest record in. Battlefield, not Battlefield, the Battlefront to game, not like the entire game, but a match. You know, like 126 and 5, I think it was. That was, I'm not sure if that was in the story in the campaign or not. I'm going to be taking the, take the wiving for now. Go for the frigates first. These ships here, here I targeted the Victory Two Class frigates. Those are the Imperial frigates. If you just, pretty much their job is to just keep off smaller fighters such as me. And the best way to take them out is with a bomber. And the best thing about the Y wing is you have that secondary gunner guarding you from all other types of attack. Two more passes and he'll be done with. I mean, this is pretty standard combat. If I wanted, I could take a fighter and go fend up off some ties. Just start shooting and I will drop him. Alright, that frigate is done. There's one more. Which See, after I finish off the shield, then I'll probably go and get the ties. Just wondering what I'm doing right now. This S pattern is perfectly my way to keep off people from locking on to me. And also to help avoid fire. Just hearing those ties roll by. If I slow down, I should be able to take that now. There we go. Let's move on to the shield. Just drop off those on the shield. here. Take out these turrets. Yep. Mm, almost got it. There we go. Just turn around. Go drop me. Now then, let's see what we do about this command page. There we go. 
Okay, two main cans are done with. Fly around. Let's see, after we take out the main bridge, then I'll probably have to throw a fighter. But you can see just how powerful the main weapon is on the bombers. I mean, it's a few hits to take out uh, most fighters. There we go. Stuff on the desk and find a little delay. Oh, the pit. I do have the one. Slow down. And if you're not careful, uh, the AI will take a ship and then just fly off straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to land it like this. So hopefully they'll fly off with it. Okay, there's one, one of those should uh, jump to the wide and it'll pop off and no, okay, that's another wide. Not blocking the X? Okay. There we go, there's the X one. You go ahead and pick this up, point of life or anything, which Yeah. Atomic Star Wars fans. You know what this is. Dropping your bombs for you. Locked. That one. Where did you see I am a good pilot? And I, I don't know if you guys have heard about it, but dice making Star Wars Battlefront 3, or they're just calling it Star Wars Battlefront. That has me very excited. Get it, get it. Get it. Got it. Got it. I'm not playing this on Steam, I'm playing this on the regular disc that uses games by a multiplayer. It's actually not even sad because I or steam. You see in the top right corner, that is showing the status of all of the other ships, of the main ships. If it's glowing blue, shields are up. All of those, uh, all those diamonds represent different systems of the ship. Uh, the closer it gets to red, the more damage it is. Green is fairly healthy, pretty good. Alright. Uh, 